Hey, what's up, everybody? It's their Step Mac 35 here, bringing you guys a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation on the PlayStation and Vita. <laughs> this is going to be like a little bit of a uh, kind of jank recording system because you can see I got a, my camera pointed at my um at my uh, Vita. I don't have the uh, Vita TV thing. I didn't uh, buy one in time. That thing is like stupid expensive, so I can't do a. Uh, direct capture of a Vita th uh, games right now so we're gonna have to uh, deal with this just in terms of a uh, Vita gameplay but if you guys have seen in any of my uh, previous pickups videos this is one game that uh now I picked up and I've been wanting to try it out and stuff I already like started this up a little bit to do like the multiplayer part just to go ahead and get like the multiplayer trophies out of the way let me tell you, that multiplayer is freaking boring. <laughs> it's not like difficult or anything. It's very boring and just very repetitive. You just tap the screen repeatedly doing stuff. That's pretty much it. Well, I just want to uh, try out some of this game. Connect with the past. Relive history. Using Abstergo's incredible research into genetic memory, Animus gives you the chance to game within the past. The product you have purchased allows you to access the memories of Aveline du Grand Pré, an 18th century assassin caught between two worlds, fighting to find her true purpose. Make history yours. History is our playground. Animus. I'll turn the lights out. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe the screen will record a little bit better. Sweet, you playing? I know they released this on like the PS4 or whatever, but like I wanted, um, I wanted to play like the Vita version specifically because you know I have like a, and I always want to play some more Vita games and stuff. That's that chicken. Dang. Huh? Perfect for plantation work, monsieur. Look at this one. Hard working, strong, healthy too. I told you to keep your place, Congo. As I was saying, monsieur, this one is strong as an ox. It's in good health and all, not cutting the missing toes. Mama? I pass the guards via the backyard. Get out the way. Oh, what, I can't go that way? Thank you. 
Alright. Go this way. Get your way. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just a kid. Here we go, so looks like it. One of like the few other like older Assassin's Creed games I'm wanting to play this one and then a uh, Syndicate. Kind of uh, over Assassin's Creed at this point. <laughs> Just so much of it. I don't know about uh, Mirage. I heard Mirage is supposed to like go back to like you know, the traditional like Assassin's Creed gameplay formula and style, which is honestly what I've been wanting Assassin's Creed to do for a while. I miss like the, how the old like the first like three Assassin's Creed games played. Grown man shoving a little girl. Go to the pigeon coop. Find 
time for the leap of faith. Sweet. New Orleans by night, master of the rooftops and the skies. We have uncovered news of a plantation from which slaves are vanishing. The owners reported their escape, but our network can find no trace of them. If you don't your slave guys, perhaps you can investigate this mystery from within. A dressing chamber has been prepared for you in a strategic location. From the top of the cathedral, you will see it. Reach the view from the bell tower. Huh. Yeah, hopefully this is showing up pretty uh, all right on the uh, recording thing. I know it's kind of a bootleg <laughs> recording right now. Huh. Control is just like you know the console. Uh, Assassin's Creed, so the, tra the controls transfer over really nice. From a uh, tower sink, I'm guessing. Standard Ubisoft affair. <laughs> Ubisoft Sophia? What all did they make? I'm not sure what. Uh, Ubisoft got like a branch for Ubisoft in every. Uh, part of the world. <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3, Liberation. Full sync. And I'm hoping I'll uh, enjoy this Assassin's Creed 3 more than I enjoyed the um, one for like the PS3 and stuff. Because uh, if you guys have seen like my platinum video for that, you know, that, that game got on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> Synchronized. There it is. Standard Ubisoft Tower Climb. Change it to the slave persona. St. Louis Cathedral. Three point synchronized, one out of eleven. See persona selection. Approach the chamber and press circle to enter. Tap an icon to choose a persona. You can also use R to choose a persona. Then press X to select it. Avalon will X address as a chosen persona. Which infiltrate the. We gotta infiltrate a plantation basically. A delivery will arrive at the plantation. A perfect cover. Hide in a wagon and follow the cart to discover the location without being seen. See, the slave persona is weak in combat but can blend easily and incite riots. The slave persona is able to climb everywhere. Uh, the slave persona can blend with worker groups or by carrying crates. You reduce the slave persona's notoriety by tearing down wanted posters using any persona. Okay, cool. Go to the city gates.
trailer mission, hide in the wagon. Wait up, wait up. Infiltrate the plantation without being detected. Not a guard or a person, yeah, it's just a regular person. When the SSR file fills with yellow, it means the guards are suspicious. Once it, oh, the freaking yellow, they just don't do anything suspicious around them. What are you getting suspicious for? I'm just carrying a box. I can't carry a box? <laughs> Hopefully I can go around this way because I feel like that guard was getting too suspicious too quick. <laughs> I can't just, okay, I thought I couldn't run with this. Hopefully I can go around. This whole freaking way, oh my goodness. God, I wasn't sure if he was gonna like catch me or not, but. Oh, for freak's sake. <laughs> Could have went the other way if I known that was right there. <laughs> oh well, took the scenic route. Or The markers that I need to go to. There's something right here. I 
find the missing slave. Let's see. I have an eagle vision. Oh, she got the door hidden blades. Nice. I don't have eagle vision, so I can't tell where like the. Are any of you guys missing slaves? This is where I had to go, but I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I'm going there. Is it to uh, infiltrate the plantation and find a missing slave, but I like don't. I need to like hit this viewpoint or something. And try that. And pick that back up. And if I hit this uh, eagle view thing, it'll. Did I try to pray? Because I think it's trying on the other uh, Assassin's Creed. I don't have, I seem to have eagle vision for some reason. Infiltrate the plantation and find the missing slave. I don't know where he's at. I don't. I'm pressing trying. I don't seem to have the eagle vision. I don't see him. That's a guard. That's not good. Get off of that. What I had to come up with is in here. Fine slaves were willing to talk. I wish they put the marker over here instead of putting it over that building in the corner. Or at least after I dropped off the package, then do it. has yet reached any safe house. My contacts fear the worst. If you are a spy, Aveline, you won't find no cause for persecution here. My brothers have vanished, then my aunt. Today my youngest sister 
Therese. They ain't escaped, as you say. They are taken. Besides, Therese would never survive on her own. I'll find her. If any have trodden through these fields, they must have left tracks. Checkpoint. Oh, now I gotta go up there. Man, I was just up there too. <laughs> That's eagle vision. Oh, I'll just synchronize over just in case. I swear the eagle vision was trying in the other AC games, but I guess it's different for this one. Or maybe I was wrong, I, I, I can't remember. There we go. Tell your hand to stop or follow you away from the plantation in one minute. Oh dear. But uh, yeah, I guess this part is gonna have to end on a uh, cliffhanger. This is the 30 uh, little man, so I wanted to try this game. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this game. Uh, this game's pretty fun so far. A a AC3 on the uh, Vita. I've always wanted to play specifically the Vita version, just you know, because I wanted some more uh, games to play on the Vita. I wanted to take. Um, I wanted to take advantage, you know, see what like the motion controls and stuff for, uh, of like that were, but I enjoyed this game. I want to, uh, you know, sit down and actually play some more. It was nice to, you know, try this game and make sure it works and all that stuff, and have an excuse to break out my Vita and play that again because it's been a minute since I played my Vita, anyways. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I like um, I like the character Evelyn. You know, I learned some more about her and stuff like that new uh, Assassin's Creed character at the time this came out. But I uh, failed that, but uh, I'm standing right there at 5 and I'm out. Please don't forget to write and comment and subscribe. Peace, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The J Train. I ride it every day. Nobody talks. The phones are useless. What this train needs is an assassin. Now an assassin can be anywhere. The Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation Bundle, rated M for Mature. PlayStation Vita, console quality on the go.